Well, look what's back on the bench. That's right. It's my infamous, famous Philco 89. Uh, I've been having a problem with it motorboating every once in a while. And I'm going to try to uh, solve that issue today, or at least attempt to, on this rainy day, because that's all it's been doing all month practically is rain. So um, we're going to kind of take it out of the, cha out of the uh, cabinet and... What I'm gonna I'm gonna do is uh, check the grounds on all the bakelite blocks and make sure those are really good because that can be an issue that can cause that. That's one of the issues I looked up anyway. One of the most simple issues to look at. So uh, I'm gonna give it a try here. One thing I noticed right away when I opened this up was uh, you see how thin these wires are. These I used originally. I don't like this. I'd like to use some heavier gauge wire there for the volume control. And also try to get it so it's more close to the chassis rather than floating up here. And I mean, I did this work about 10 years ago. And I have been in the radio since, but I didn't go over the whole thing. So I'm going to replace both of these. They're both uh, solid conductor. And you can see it's a little melted here where I've hit it with the soldering iron over the years. So I'm going to replace those two. Make them look a little nicer. Just uh, finally getting around to answering uh, question Buzz 1151 had. Um, looks like my ball bearing is missing out of the power switch too. Seems to work okay, but definitely missing. I don't know where he got the ball bearing. I'll have to uh, look at one of his that video, so uh, find out if I can get one for mine too. Well, I got that done. I replaced this old crap with uh, nice heavy cloth covered wire and it's going right up through there and up to where it's supposed to be connected to that looks a lot better because I was always having problems with this volume control no matter what control I put in here I'd always have problems with it I wonder if it's because I use this crappy thin single solid conductor wire this is really crappy I'll tell you that much that's where it belongs um, the other thing is, I noticed this. There's one of my old electrical tape connections right there. Come back to haunt me. I missed that last time I was working on this, so I'm going to take that out too. Okay, well, we're picking up the station here. It's pretty noisy. I don't have the best antenna on here. It's just an old uh, TV antenna that's going outside. Seems to die off as I tune it up the dial here still. Right there. That's what it's doing still. But that's, this is just after I have replaced the uh, those wires that I showed you. If I could just get it to stop doing that, I'd be really happy. a bit more volume out of it so I think that thin wire was part of the problem with the volume because I was always getting real low volume out of this yeah, so I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to check those big light blocks to make sure they're grounded <coughs> grounded okay and then I got to find my uh, literature on this and do another alignment because I think it it needs one. Okay, this is weird. Uh, I've got a really low low station right here. It's can't even see what's on the. It's really down low on the band, but you can barely hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on the. Let me stick my camera in here. I don't know if you can hear that, because I know this, uh, I'm using my phone, I know it has a problem with uh, muffled sound, so, uh, that's kind of weird, it's, it's really low, the sound, it's turned all the way up, let's see if I can tune this a little, so we are picking up something here. I 
picks up all that noise around 60 600 Seems to drop off again when I tune it up higher. Yep, it's doing that again. Hmm. Okay, I've just I have just detected something else here. When I uh, put my finger on the top grid cap of the Type 36 oscillator, it starts working. But when I release it, it does that. Of course, I can't find uh, turn this down here. Can't find the schematic. Uh, the only one I can find is the one that has a 77, but this doesn't have a 77. It has a 36. So, um, I don't really know what to do here. Cause that that grid cap comes out to here comes to right there and I'm pretty stumped right now I really don't know what to do well anyway I'm gonna leave this video for now um, I had to go do something and it's dark out now so uh, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is for now um, if anybody out there has any ideas what that might be uh, just leave, uh, leave a comment or something uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, my main problem is I don't have the schematic. Because I don't know where my all my literature for this went. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. And the only schematic I can find is the one where for the, uh, the, the chassis that has the 77 oscillator, not the 36. This, has, this is an earlier chassis and this has a type 36 oscillator. So... I need to find that schematic somehow, and I looked on Nostalgia Air, and the only one they have is the one with the 77. So, if anybody can give me a little hand on that, that would be appreciated. Um, I don't know, maybe I have, if I have a bad coil here, I don't know. But I really need a schematic so I can take this out and, you know, test all the different points and everything in here. So, until I can get that, um, I'm going to be a little stuck here. So, uh... Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll have another part of this pretty soon.